welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my best of 2019. I can't believe it. I feel like I've been dragging my feet. I really, really dislike doing favorites videos. I know you guys probably know this if you have been on my channel before, but it gives me like so much anxiety to narrow things down. And I always am like, was that really like a favorite or did I just love it for like the moment? And then I like moved on. So I did try really, really hard to make a list. I went through my Instagram and looked at like things that I had posted pictures of and it just kind of reminded me of some of the things I had used towards the start of this year and such or last year. Oh my gosh, 2019. Anyway, I have a list of like 24 items. So if you guys are excited, to see what I absolutely love that launched in 2019, just keep watching. So the first items I wanna talk about in this video are of course the Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes. Are you guys surprised that I talked about these yet again? I featured them multiple times in other videos at the start of this year and I would be an absolute liar if I didn't say that these were some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2019 and I'm so so happy with them. I bought these, oh, I bought these three, the first three with my own money and then I was lucky enough to end up on their PR list in 2019. So I did receive these two in PR and I absolutely love these. I could never get rid of these. You would have to pry them out of my cold dead hands and love these guys so so much. I guess I could show you guys the inside a little bit since maybe some of you haven't seen what they look like on the inside. This one is such a fun color story. This is called Electric Turquoise, Electro Turquoise. Um, we have this one which is called Cyber Bronze and it's like a beautiful neutral kind of color scheme. And then I have this guy which is the reason I won't buy the Melt Gemini palette. This is Sci-Fi Green and it's stunning. And then we have this one which is probably one of my favorite color stories. This is, what is this one called? Astro Pink. And then last but certainly not least is Futurism 4. This is VR Neon and I just used this in a video which was a collab with my friend Emily Hanhan over Vlogmas. So I love these palettes so, so much. Okay, so the next palette that was my absolute favorite of 2019, I don't think any of you guys would be surprised that I am mentioning this in my best of video. I love the Metropolis palette so, so much. My husband bought this for me as a gift, I think, a little after it came out. So I think I got this before I went to New York, which was in October. So I just like fell in love with this palette. This color scheme is so, so beautiful. And I still feel like I wanna use this more. So let me know if you guys would like to see more eyeshadow looks with this palette, but it's stunning. I'm pretty sure I convinced many of you to buy this palette. And if I haven't yet, I mean, I feel like, you know, Hopefully this will stick around, but they did say this was limited edition, so I wouldn't wait too long because honestly, like this one and the Natasha Denona Gold palette are like my top two Natasha Denona palettes. I wouldn't care if any of the other ones fell off the face of the earth, but those two, well, the Gold palette and this one are winners, let me tell you. Okay, so next I wanna talk about some complexion products. There were so many foundations that launched this summer and I bought a lot of them. I bought the Pat McGrath, I bought the Anastasia, the Fenty, like there was a lot of them that I purchased. One I bought kind of begrudgingly, I didn't think I was gonna love this one as much as I did, was the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Now, I used to love Urban Decay's foundations and complexion products, but I hadn't found one that had a decent enough color match, that had a decent formula that I liked for a long, long time. So I'd really kind of given up on finding anything I really love from Urban Decay, but I bought this in the shade 60CG, and I have enjoyed this foundation so much. If you look at it, Pretty close here, you'll see I've got a nice little dent in it and especially here in the front. I've used up about almost half of this bottle from the summer, which excites me to my core because I feel like I am the slowest as, at using up products. So it makes me so happy and I think it really is a testament to how much I love this foundation. If I need to wear something all day and feel flawless and look fresh, this is the one I go for and I really, really enjoy this 
foundation. Okay, another foundation I wanna brag about is this guy. I feel like I haven't used this in a long, long time, but I was obsessed with this in the winter of 2019. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfection Foundation, and I bought the shade 4-in-1 Suntan. I haven't tried a lot of Laura Mercier products in general, and I don't know what, you know, came across me that made me want to purchase this, except I think this is a luminous foundation, so I I don't even know. I really can't remember what possessed me to try this, but I bought this, and I have been using this over the last couple of days. I decided to bring it back since it is winter again here in Fargo, and I think I have about this much left. I It was on its side right now, so you can't see how much of it I've used up, but I definitely plan on panning this foundation in 2020, and I really, really like it. It is pretty long lasting. I feel so dewy and luminous with this, and it's not cakey or heavy. So if you guys have been looking for a good foundation for dry skin, I would recommend this guy to you. Okay, the next item I actually used up, so I don't have it here. It is the Fenty Concealer. I believe the Fenty Concealer launched in January, or at least that's when I picked it up. I picked it up in Vegas, and I used it pretty much all spring and summer and used it up. I think it's in my empties bin, potentially, but I really like the uh, the concealer. I also really like her original foundation. I didn't so much love the luminous one that she came out with this summer, but I love the original and I love the concealer. I have not repurchased it since because I don't really need to buy any concealers right now, but I did really enjoy it. I didn't think it was cakey or anything like that. I didn't have any problems blending it. I don't think it got the best reviews, but I really liked the one I had. So just wanted to mention that in this video. And then another concealer favorite that I am currently using is the Juvia's Place Concealer. This is a newer product from them. I can't remember what this one was called, but I did pick this up around the time it launched, and this is in the shade 15. I am wearing this concealer today. It is the one I've been using for the last couple of weeks, I would say. And you get 0.34 fluid ounces. It does feel like a pretty hefty amount of product in here. It might just be because it's like a little chubby tube as well, but I like this concealer a lot. I hope to pan this in 2020. I've been using it a ton and I feel like I'm going to keep using it until something else comes along that piques my interest. Okay, the next product I want to mention are the Pow Pow sponges. Now, I feel like I've mentioned these so many times in so many videos, but they are just that good. This is like my favorite thing to buy on Shop Miss A. I did actually just try out some of the AOA brushes. This is like a $10 brush set on the website. I used them to do a look with the new Juvia's Place Chocolate Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And I thought the brushes were fantastic. I've been putting off using them because I was worried they would perform like $10 brushes. But I feel like they actually did a really good job and held up really well and blended really well. So I am excited that I did try those. So you might see that in a 2020 video. But I have been obsessed with these sponges. Hopefully I've convinced some of you guys to try these as well because you can get this six pack for like 10 bucks or less which is an insane amount of savings so they're soft they're wonderful wonderful sponges and i'm so grateful for amy and my friend ellie that convinced me to try these sponges okay you guys know how much i love these guys i feel like i've said it a thousand times but i am obsessed with my nabla skin glazing glass finish glow powders where is adults only? Oh, I think it's in here. I basically can't bring myself to put this one away. This is the blush I have on today and I can't see the B in this embossing anymore because I've already used it up that much. So there is a closer look if you guys are curious, but I love this so much. I hope they come out with more shades. I think this formula as a blush is fantastic because it never looks like you put too much on and they blend so, so well as well. So I'm very happy I bought these. I don't think I'm gonna get any more anytime soon, like I said, unless they come out with new shades. But for right now, I really am enjoying the shades I have in my possession. So the next two items are two Give Me Glow palettes. I feel like Give Me Glow 
just knocked it out of the park this year with their eyeshadow palettes. I feel like they've tweaked their formula and it's been for the better. So I did pick up the Juicy Olive palette when it launched and of course the Vintage Rose palette. This one is gorgeous. I don't think I ended up reviewing this on my channel for you guys, but just know that it is absolutely stunning and I just think these are such great unique color stories and I'm so so happy to have them in my collection. Okay, so I'm gonna mention some ColourPop products really quick and the rest is all gonna be like eyeshadows and stuff like that. So the lip product, <laughs> I was gonna say the lipstick, but I'm like, nope, it's not lipstick. The lip product that really dazzled me in 2019 are the ColourPop So Juicy Glosses. Now, you guys know I did do a massive lipstick declutter through Vlogmas and I, cut down my lipstick collection pretty drastically and I'm not really a huge lip gloss girl. Last year in 2018 I talked all about Pat McGrath because I was loving her gloss, I was loving her lip balms, her matte lipsticks too, but this year I didn't really try a whole lot as far as lipstick formulas. I think I got a few things here and there in PR and then Angie gave me the H&M lipsticks which are also nice but as far as like the best of the best I feel like these were the only real lipstick type products I wanted to mention. I really like these. I have two shades. I have Beechwood and then I have Princess Cut. I was contemplating getting more of these towards the end of 2019 but I kind of just kept thinking about all the lipsticks I had to get rid of or just wasn't using so I put in my declutter pile and I was like all I'm doing by buying more is adding more things to my collection that I'm not going to use so I'm just going to be happy with the two I have. I really like both of these and yeah. I'm excited to see what other lip products come out in 2020, but nothing has really like blown my mind in 2019 if I'm being very honest. And then the other ColourPop product I've been loving for 2019 are their eyeliner pencils. Now I don't feel like these are all created equally, but these two shades in particular I've really been enjoying. This is probably the best red eyeliner I've ever used. This is the shade Venus and I love this. It stays in my waterline. It goes so well with my skin tone. So if you want a good tan girl friendly red eye pencil, I would recommend this. And then this shade Charmer I've been using a ton in videos as well for you guys as well as off camera. Really like the ColourPop eye pencils, most of them I should say, and I will continue to try out the ones I picked up during the holiday season because they had their eye eyeliner vaults go on sale. So I picked both of them up and I'm definitely not buying any eyeliner in 2020. So I will use the ones I have and see which ones are good and get rid of the ones that I don't love and then definitely let you guys know my thoughts on the different shades I end up accumulating. And then the last non eyeshadow product that I want to mention before I go through a ton of eyeshadow are of course the Kaleidos highlighters. These were sent to me by the brand and I just love these little guys. I really really enjoy using them as inner corner highlights to be very honest with you guys. They are so beautiful and this packaging is great and I, I really just love them as inner corner highlights. Every once in a while I will throw these on my you know face as well so they are definitely you know great for both of those things I like the price point this blue one on light skin is so beautiful I had my friends nieces over they filmed a, a YouTube video in my room with me and this on like pale skin is so beautiful it's so like editorial and like fantasy makeup looking that I just thought they were stunning and then of course this green one is Again, a stunning highlight as well as a inner corner as well as a lid shade. And this one is probably the most like, I don't know, not natural, but more like <laughs> non-crazy color. Um, and I really just love these so, so much. I think they are so fun. So I hope Kaleidos comes out with more highlighters in 2020 as well. Okay guys, are you ready for a ton of eyeshadow palettes? So the first one I want to talk about, this one may be kind of controversial to you guys because it is an 
MLN or whatever those things are called, but I actually bought this at Ulta. This is the Luminous collab with The Lion King movie and Sir John, who is Beyonce's makeup artist. I actually forgot to mention this brand in the brands I tried in 2019 because I'd never tried anything else from this brand, but I love this eyeshadow palette. I feel like Unfortunately, because they collabed with an MLN, not a lot of people were sure where to pick this up. I personally was not sure either. I was gonna buy it on their website, but then I was so weary because I was like, what if I absolutely hate it? And then I spend all this money and I can't even take it back. So I was so thankful that it launched at Ulta. And you guys, these shimmers are like such a great formula and they're very like, just beautiful and you can wear this kind of as an every look at these swatches like as a great like everyday palette sorry my hand is stained because i was swatching an eyeshadow palette earlier but like that th that brown and that gold are just like stunning i would totally wear those like on a daily basis and i just feel like it's such a fun neutral palette with some fun pops of color so you can do a lot of looks with this guy so I love it very very much and colored rain which is one of my favorite indie makeup brands launched the safari rain palette and this one is just like so up my alley as far as color story goes I wish I could use this palette more um, unfortunately it's like one of those that just gets lost in my very extensive makeup collection but I love the colored rain formula and I seriously can't wait to see what they come out with this year because I feel like it's just gonna be so good. So this is the Safari Rain palette. And then of course, I really enjoyed the Glam Light formula in 2019. So I had to mention the Taco palette. I also do own the Burger palette from them, but I wanted to show you guys the Taco palette because I feel like, again, this is a good mix of what I would call neutrals and then fun pops of green because you guys know I love a good green eyeshadow. So very, very excited to have gotten the chance to try the Taco palette. I know they just launched the Cake palette and I really, really, really wanted to get the Cake palette, but I told myself that I have so many of Glam Light's palettes and I have that paint palette as well, which I only use like once or twice. And so I decided not to get the cake palette and let somebody else review it because I don't have to buy every palette. Like that's not, you know, something that I need to do. Another palette that I have to mention as one of my best palettes of 2019 is of course the Alma palette. This is Amy Loves Makeup's collab with Amy Hart's Beauty and I got to try Amy Hart's Beauty for the first time this year and then to find out that one of my best friends here on YouTube was doing a collab with them just like made the experience like even more special so I was so happy to be able to get my hands on that palette and it's a beautiful purple blue color story and just to see how far Amy Hart's beauty has come over the course of 2019 just makes my heart like soar and I cannot wait to see what they do this year as well and then of course I have to mention the Huda Rich palette, the nude Rich palette. This one came out of nowhere guys. I really, really, really didn't think I was gonna be that blown away by this palette. But me, Angie, and Amy did a collab. The three of us, each of us bought a different shade from this line. And I think we all loved the palettes we got. I really was blown away by the Rich and I really wanted to buy the other two but I was like, you don't need more neutral palettes, Karen. Slow it down. So I didn't buy them, but very, very happy with the one I have. And of course, I have to mention the Melt palettes, the Holiday Collection, the Morte and the Vita palettes. I definitely want to fill more with these. I was using this palette the other day. I think I actually really like the Morte palette. The Vita one is nice too, but I feel like this is such a unique color story. These two shades, like these three shades actually, I can do a whole eye look that like blows my mind with those three shades. I just love the tealy, sea foamy, Tiffany blue color on my eyes. It just looks so like vibrant and spring to be honest, but I love I love those palettes so much and again cannot wait to see what Melt does in 2020. This palette came out of nowhere. It came in like a wrecking ball uh, to quote Miley Cyrus and um, the Anastasia Jackie Ina collab. I'm not a huge Jackie Ina fan so I wasn't even planning on getting this. I can't really remember why I bought this. Like I feel like maybe I got it on sale or something. 
I don't really know, but it blew me away. And I actually did a look with this palette pretty later on um, compared to when it launched because you guys were actually requesting it. And Jackie Ina reposted my picture on her story, so that was kind of cool. Um, but I definitely love this palette. I think it is like a neutral palette, but it's also so glam. And then it just has these like weird cool colors that, you know, really just like take it to another level. So I think that's really cool. This packaging though is like also stunning. So I really, really love that palette. That's probably my favorite ABH palette of 2019 because they came out with quite a few and uh, it was not missed on us. Let me tell you, everyone was uh, complaining about that. <laughs> so I'm done with talking about all the palettes that I love this year. So I have three different single shadow formulas I want to mention as favorites for 2019. And I feel like I would be such a hypocrite if I didn't mention my Cleonade shades from the stained glass collection. So these two rows and this row are the, st the shades I have from the stained glass collection and I love them so much. I originally bought the Jewel collection first and then I got some of the iridescent multi-chromes and the glitter multi-chromes. And these ones are the most like unique formula. These ones are fun too, but I feel like I have them from like JD Glow, Sydney Grace, whereas the iridescent and the glitters are like more unique. And so this palette just overall is probably one of my favorite palettes of 2019 because it has so many cool different formulas compared to some of the palettes I just went over. And then of course I have to talk about my Adept shadows. I, got, I have been raving about these shadows to you guys over the last month or two. And I bought a few of these and then the brand was kind enough to send me some more. And I did this like purple look with the palette and I just loved it. And they just blend so well and I'm so happy. And I did see she's coming out with new shades for 2020 so I definitely have my eye on those and last but certainly not least I have to have to mention the chameleon shadows from the brand Terra Moon now I did get some of their like duo chrome shades right here or like are these multi chromes no these are duo chromes and they also sent me these shades like that I didn't order they sent me these in PR but Rael got me these for Thanksgiving and like this shade red D giant do you guys see that like I haven't done a swatch party video on these but my friends like Angie and Amy have just been like losing their mind over these shadows and I really understand why now that I have them this shade red giant maybe my favorite most favorite like inner corner shade of like all time <laughs> if if you can see that do you, oh my camera is like perfectly capturing the multi-chrome aspect of that shade. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Look at my fingers. I can't stand it. They're so stunning. Like they just recently had a sale over New Year's and I was like contemplating buying a backup of Red Giant for no apparent reason because I haven't even made a dent in it. But it's like my favorite inner corner highlight of... 2019 and I only got them like in December, but they blow me away. So these are my babies. Okay guys, so I the last product I wanted so, so much. Okay guys, so that is it for my best of 2019. I can't believe I just did that. My mouth is hurting from talking so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and the eyeshadows and the makeup I have just been lusting over for the last year. Let me know if I mentioned any of your favorites. Let me know if I missed anything that you thought I should have included in this video or let me know what your favorites for 2019 were. I love talking to you guys in my comment section so I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the new year and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!